hi everyone welcome or welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Wendy it's my life. if you don't know me my name is Wendy and I'm doing some vlogs sharing my lifestyle here in Portugal and now I am officially officially a mom again and for today's video, I am going to share some birth story and pregnancy story. So as you know, if you don't know, recently I gave birth here in Portugal. And um, on the last minute of my pregnancy, I had a preeclampsia and back then I was supposed to give birth at August 21. But unfortunately, on my last prenatal checkup at August 3, and the doctor decided to induce my labor because my blood pressure was really high. I was so devastated because I don't have anything with me. I was like, I have nothing with me, so I cannot give birth right away. So, but it was really dangerous of course for me and the baby so yeah I have decided of course I signed a waiver because I don't want to you know make it in a rush I took a risk I went home that with which I shouldn't be because I want to take some stuff with me some baby clothes my stuffs my clothes my, anything that I'm gonna need when I during the labor and to make the story short after some hours and then took some things with me because that I'm gonna need and then if you don't know my first pregnancy I okay I have this is gonna be this it, this is what this was my second pregnancy my sec my first pregnancy I had a preeclampsia also which is I thought will be gone on my second pregnancy but it wasn't unfortunately so I really wanted to be in a normal delivery but unfortunately my cervix was not cooperating so I had a labor for 12 hours almost 12 hours of labor but the good thing is they're trying to make me to do a labor, normal laboring, they give pitocin. Pitocin is a medicine to induce a labor. For three times they gave me, but unfortunately still closed my cervix. So they have decided to do the C-section and on in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, and then this pregnancy was this labor was really made me so strong even this what's you know during this but still on the pandemic situation so there will be no extra help or there's no uh, my partner is not with me and inside because due, due to COVID situation there's some protocols that's not allowed actually so I face it alone in delivery and the uh, during the labor and the good thing is during the when I when they the doctor administering the anesthesia I have said that I want to be awake I was surprised I was so strong I was so brave because in my first pregnancy again I'm gonna tell you I was totally in a general anesthesia I was totally blackout I was totally full sleep but this second labor I was so strong, I was so brave, I said I want to be awake, I just don't want to be feel of course the pain, just I was like in the epidural anesthesia, so I was awake the whole process during the cutting of myself by the doctors and I feel the sensation, feeling it like I was so shivering, honestly, honestly I was, I felt scared somehow but when I hear my baby cry when I hear her when I feel that they 
put her with me and my tummy on my chest right after I was so like it was fulfillment it was priceless the feeling and right after she was born they they clean immediately and they give it to give give her to me and my chest it was so nice it was so amazing although of course it was not so it was not perfect because uh, technically or generally I'm alone my family is not here I'm giving birth alone from a from your family was really hard as part and somehow I felt some you know of course I felt sad because I wish my parents was here I wish my mother was here especially and to accompany me and the reason why I wanted to be in a more normal delivery because c-section is the hardest part of recovery when you give birth so yeah unfortunately I say in the hospital anyway there is a good good side of giving birth in hospital here in Portugal it was really amazing they treat me really good so professional by the way I was in Beatrice Angelo because it's the nearest hospital here in my place so they treat me so well they were so kind with me and um, the very fast the treatment they're really you know very organized in many things compared to Philippines way back 12 years ago when I gave the birth to Philippines it was horrible I feel like I was an animal you know but here it was so completely different and after the, the, the delivery they sent me in the room um, it's you know what the, the room is like a hotel actually give the offer free food but which is by the way this is a public hospital but it's amazing everything is free I didn't pay anything so that's the whole process of it so overall I really am so grateful for this birth process for this labor that I had here in Portugal um, I know this is an uh, unplanned pregnancy or something but God knows this is a blessing and I really appreciate it and I'm so grateful now I'm having a daughter I'm gonna have a mini me actually many people are saying she really looks like me and <laughs> of course I'm happy with that and yeah so by the way after that um, I stay in the hospital to make more story I stay in the hospital for for five days over total five days yeah so uh, they say if you are here in Portugal if you do the normal delivery you're gonna stay for 48 hours but if you do the cesarean section you're gonna stay for 72 hours at least but in my situation because my blood pressure was still on monitoring I was still high actually even before the day I leave the hospital was still high so um, they they admitted me for at least extra couple of extra days and they administer me they make they gave me a medication for blood pressure for me to take for at least 14 days so um, it was amazing they monitor me every now and then and actually now it was already officially 21 yeah three weeks already officially now and after uh, just today earlier they called me the Beatrice Angelo for a follow-up of how is everything if everything is okay or something like that and after on the discharge by the way on the discharge during the discharge process they will give you everything the birth uh, certification that I give birth to that hospital 
believe all of it and also the vaccines of the babies are also given in the hospital especially the bcg the hepatitis and the potassium they give already in the hospital which is amazing so i have this pink book which is very very important for me to carry always so during the right now i already registered my baby so she's officially portuguese so yeah i hope next it will be me as you know i'm not yet a portuguese citizen but i am of course i'm legal so by the way your, your baby will be if you are pregnant and if you you're here in portugal if you want to be here in portugal and get pregnant your baby will, will be portuguese if you are one year living here in portugal legally with the resident card so just a simple information okay so that's it the process of my a simple or the simple story of my birth pregnancy labor here in portugal so pardon me again if i'm not be able to upload regularly videos but i will really try my best to upload regularly but this this time i may not be able to give all the information about portugal but um do some reasons but i will do some vloggings continue vloggings and continue and sharing some information about being a mom here in portugal so again if you have any more questions please comment me down below and you can reach me out on my email on my instagram which is by the way you can follow my, my instagram and also on my tiktok so yeah, I will see you again on my next vlog. Ciao!